Gliese 581c has been determined by scientists to be a potential planet candidate for future colonization. But the planet is closer to its sun than we are to ours, which means it's stuck in a state of tidal locking. That results in one side of the planet always facing the star, while the other side is always facing away. If you enter the star side of the planet, your face would instantly melt. Standing on the opposite side of the planet, where there is no sun, would freeze you instantly. But in between is a small segment where life could theoretically exist. Named Sagittarius B2, this gas cloud tastes like raspberries and smells of rum. The cloud predominantly contains ethyl formate, something known to give raspberries their taste and giving rum its smell. Sagittarius B2 is believed to contain billions of liters of its unique matter. Gliese 436b is found within the same solar system as Gliese 581c, which supports this planet made almost entirely out of ice. At 439 degrees Celsius, it's a burning ice cube. The ice stays solid due to the enormous amount of water found on the planet. The gravity pulls it in towards the core, subsequently keeping the water molecules so densely packed they are unable to evaporate. In 2012, a NASA spacecraft captured a spectacular photo of Mercury craters arranged in a shape that looks just like Disney's iconic cartoon mouse. It shows a huge crater topped with two smaller impact basins to create the recognizable shape. The Mickey Mouse on Mercury is formed by a crater that spans across 65 miles wide that was later peppered by other impacts to outline the ears. Black holes are one of the strangest but most interesting things in space, but no one really knows what happens if you can surpass the center of one, known as the singularity. Once you pass the event horizon, you can't escape. Not even light can escape as the gravity is so strong. At that point, you can essentially see back in time. At the center of a black hole lies a gravitational singularity, a region where the space-time curvature becomes infinite. Theories suggest if you somehow pass that point, you'll enter entire new universes. If you do manage to find yourself there, do us a favor and record it for YouTube. I somehow believe it may go viral. Gravitational lensing is capable of bending the light from the source as it travels toward the observer. What you're actually looking at now is a blue star directly behind a yellow star. Light is being bent so the blue star gets warped. A few years ago, scientists found the universe's largest electrical current, which would equal around one trillion lightning bolts. The lightning is believed to stem from a huge black hole in the center of the galaxy. The hole's magnetic field allows it to use the lightning bolt through gas and dust to a distance of over 150,000 light years away. Put it this way, the current is over 1.5 times the size of the Milky Way. The diamond planet, or 55 Cancri E, is made entirely out of crystallized diamond. Its worth is $26.9 million, which is $26.9 followed by 30 zeros. One third of the mass of the planet is believed to be pure diamond, while the rest includes graphite. The planet is two times the size of Earth and has eight times the mass. 12 billion light years away resides the universe's largest water reservoir situated in the core of a quasar. The H2O cloud contains 140 trillion times the amount of water in Earth's ocean and is located near the colossal black hole at the center of the quasar. The black hole itself is 20 billion times the size of the sun and the amount of energy it releases is equivalent to what would be produced by 1,000 trillion suns. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is 100,000 light years across. So if something were to occur on the far side of the galaxy, it would take 100,000 years for the light to reach the opposite end. That length of time is multiplied by 40,000 for the large Quasar group. Yep, the LQG is 4 billion light years across. Scientists have no idea how it was formed, as the existence of structures with the size of LQGs was believed to be theoretically impossible. The large Quasar group is a cluster of 74 Quasars that breaks some standard laws of physics, as the maximum size of any cosmic structure should be only 1.2 billion light years across.